what did you say about me? The cop? Yeah. That you're trouble and I should stay away from you. <laughs> hey, I don't scare easy. Really? He said that? I, I can't believe he actually said that you should stay away from me. He said he only knew you from some trouble you had with the police. I wasn't really buying it. It was more like, uh... <laughs> Wait. Is the cop your ex? This was a booty call, and he's the one who called me. As for the girl outside, I don't know, but I gotta go. Bye, darling. You're messing around with Stacy again? No, she's lying. Have you looked in the mirror, Fish? <laughs> Layla, please. Yeah, that's lipstick I see on your mouth there. Not to mention, when we walked in, you were all over the lady. And then we have the candles, flowers. That was for wine. you. Look, your favorite wine. Okay, white roses, one of your favorite flowers. Layla, I swear to God, Stacy barged in here and threw herself on me. You have to believe me. The exterminator? How did I know they had a dog? Okay, next time, try to not send them directly through the door. Next time? Do I look pregnant to you? So you didn't do it? I only had like five minutes. Hey, records are made to be broken. Well, not this time. Not ever. That girlfriend's got a short leash on him. Oh, I'm screwed. I'm not in a good way. Okay, come on. We'll think of something. You're asking a lot. Look, Layla, I do not know what is going on with Stacy, but I was making you dinner, she knocked on the door, and then she came in here and started going off about how letting me go was the biggest mistake of her life. And, and I told her that I wasn't interested, that I was with you, and then she grabbed me just as you guys came through the door. Look, Layla, I'm not stupid. I wouldn't do this in your living room. I, I wouldn't even do this, period. I love you. I would never throw away what we have. I'm sorry I flipped out. You don't have to apologize. If I saw you with someone else, I'd have gone a little crazy, too. So we're cool? Depends on what's for dinner. Buenas noches. I had a feeling that cop was gay. Yeah. And that, that's the problem. He keeps trying to convince himself that he's straight. Plus, he has a girlfriend. Who lives somewhere far, far away, right? Nobody's ever seen her. Nope. She's right here. For her? Yeah. For him? Exactly. You know, I just get the feeling, though, that this cop is still a little hung up on you. That's too bad. He doesn't get to tell me I'm just a phase and then mess with my life. Maybe I'll just return the favor. No, it's gotta be a scam. I mean, it's not like you're gonna Nash's his body or something. Wow! Gosh, I didn't know that John was letting hookers in here now. <laughs> hey. Hello. She's such a bitch. You should have told me this place was stocked. I would have been here sooner. Okay, you can worry about finding someone later. Right now, we have to worry about getting me pregnant. Oh, relax. So you struck out with Miss Thang and Mr. Relationship. You still have one more name on your list? Old Sky King himself? Who the hell is Sky King? This kid's show from the 50s. I used to watch the reruns. Sky King was this cowboy who flew his own plane. And no matter how bad things were, Old Sky could always get it up there.